everyone in today's lecture we will see a new point entropy so the definition of entropy is here the word entropy is sometimes confused with energy and although they are related quantities and they are distinct that means energy and entropy these two terms are different energy measures the capability of an object or system to do work and on the other hand is a measure of the disorder of a system disorder refers to its uh, number of different microscopic states a system can be in and the microscopic states we means that the exact states of all the molecules making up the system the entropy is a measure of disorder and the entropy is given by equation s is equal to k ln w s means entropy k is a boltzmann constant and ln w where w is a number of ways by which we can rearrange the system or a group so the entropy is equal to boltzmann constant k into logarithm of number of possible states so s is equal to k ln of w or s is equal to k log of n according to this equation so this is the boltzmann equation to find out entropy of a system now entropy is a thermodynamic property a quantitative measure of disorder and entropy traces out its origin in a molecular movement interpretation and this it's given by rudolf clausius in 1850 the concept of entropy thermodynamic laws that is the second law of thermodynamics means the second law of thermodynamics includes the concept of entropy and it can be visualized due to the process of expansion heating mixing and reaction and entropy is associated with heat and temperature so there are various types of disorders as we have said the entropy is a measure of disorder so we will see the types of disorders positional disorder means whether the atoms are free to move or not then vibrational disorder this is also called as a thermal disorder whether the atoms vibrate about an average position and the next one is configuration disorder this refers to the distribution of different atoms or sites in the lattice means for example consider water ice and the vapor in case of the ice there is a regular arrangement of all the atoms of water so that is a less entropy when the ice is heated it converted into the liquid when there is a heat or the temperature of the system is increased the entropy is increases that means there is a direct relationship between the heat and the entropy when we provide heat to the system obviously entropy will increase so in case of ice entropy is less when system is heated it is converted into liquid and uh, liquid water in which the entropy is more than the ice then our liquid is again heated at that time there is a vapor formation and in the vapor number of gases molecules are there each and every molecule is far from each other that means there is a disorderness and where the disorderness is more the entropy will be more so the order of entropy increase is as ice in which less entropy then liquid and in last gas in gases state the entropy is much larger so see one example in which the entropy is shown in this first diagram here a box in which a colored balls are kept 
at the left side of this box the blue balls are there and at the right side there are the red balls so these balls are in regular arrangement and in second box the red box and the blue box uh, red balls and the blue balls are inside the box which are in a disorderly manner arranged so here is a no regular arrangement of the balls due to that there is a increase in entropy as compared to this so for box 2 the entropy is more than the box 1 so this is the case by which we can find out the entropy is more or less so I, uh, in this box the entropy is less and in this box entropy is more due to disorderness now the definition and expression of entropy entropy may be defined as the property of a system which measures the degree of disorder or the randomness in the system and this is a greek word which means that the transformation that means ice is converted into liquid liquid is converted into vapor that means there is a transformation occurs and it is denoted by symbol capital s and clausius was convinced of the significance of the ratio of heat delivered and the temperature at which it is delivered that is well known equation ds is equal to dq reversible by t which is given by clausius when a system is undergoing change then the entropy change is equal to the heat absorbed by the system divided by the temperature at which change taken place and the entropy change is given by equation s2 minus s1 s2 is the higher entropy and s1 is the lower entropy or this equation can be written as delta s or the change in entropy is equal to integration of dq by t above equation can be written as just transfer this t to the left side t delta s is equal to dq or t ds is equal to dq and this is the expression of second law of thermodynamics now suppose the process is undergoing change at a constant temperature the equation was derived from first law of thermodynamics here first law of thermodynamics in which the energy change is given by equation delta e is equal to q minus w so d e is equal to dq minus p d v and when constant temperature is there delta e is equal to 0 or change in internal energy delta u e is equal to 0 therefore we can write just change in heat is equal to p delta v or dq is equal to p delta v now we know the second law of thermodynamics as we have written here dq is equal to t ds so just put this dq value in the first law equation and we can get the equation t ds is equal to p d v so ds can be written as delta s transfer this t to the right side so delta s is equal to p d v divided by t so this is our equation of entropy by mixing first law of thermodynamics and second law of thermodynamics now suppose the process is undergoing change at constant pressure this equation we have seen when the temperature is constant now the pressure is constant when the pressure is constant t delta s is equal to q and q means heat at constant pressure so p is here suffix and we know that qp is equal to cp dt this equation we have seen in the previous lectures heat capacity at a constant pressure cp and it is the change in temperature and qp is the heat at constant pressure so just put t delta s is equal to cp dt so t delta s is equal to cp dt or this is this equation can be written as t ds is equal to cp into dt now take integration of this equation and find out the value of delta s so 
डेल्टा एस इज इक्वल टू एस टू माइनस एस वन इज इक्वल टू डेल्टा सी पी एल एन ऑफ टी टू अपॉन टी वन दिस इज द एंट्रोपी चेंज ऑफ द सिस्टम एट कॉन्स्टेंट प्रेशर कंडीशन फ्रॉम रूम टेम्परेचर टू द रिएक्शन टेम्परेचर मीन्स दिस इज द डेल्टा एस और चेंज इन एंट्रोपी विच इज इक्वल टू एस टू माइनस एस वन इज इक्वल टू डेल्टा सी पी एल एन ऑफ टी टू अपॉन टी वन और टी एफ अपॉन टी आई वेन द प्रेशर इज कॉन्स्टेंट नाउ द डेफिनेशन ऑफ एंट्रोपी इज हियर सो फॉर द साइक्लिक प्रोसेस साइक्लिक इंटीग्रल ऑफ डी क्यू रिवर्सिबल बाय टी इज जीरो दिस क्वान्टिटी मस्ट बी द एक्जैक्ट डिफरेंशियल ऑफ ए स्टेट फंक्शन एंड अवर डेफिनेशन इज डी एस इज इक्वल टू डी क्यू रिवर्सिबल बाय टी Also, we can write for the microscopic changes, delta S is equal to integration of dQ reversible by T. So you can write dS is equal to delta S simply. And for isothermal processes, change in internal energy is equal to zero. So we can write just Q reversible is equal to minus W reversible. And W is equal to minus n R T L N of V F upon V I. So just put value here. W reversible or the work done for reversible processes is equal to minus n R T L N of V F upon V I. We have seen this equation also in the previous lecture. Now delta S is equal to one upon T into Q reversible or Q reversible by T. So just put the value here. And find out the delta S. So we have Q reversible value here. So just put value of Q reversible. So Q reversible is equal to minus n R T L N of V F upon V I. So we can write delta S is equal to one upon T as it is into n R T L N of V F upon V I. So for a reversible process, when volume is constant and temperature is variable. dq is equal to dh that is heat is equal to enthalpy change or change in heat is equal to change in enthalpy therefore we can write dq for reversible process is equal to and we know the definition dh is equal to n into cvm into dt that is n is the number of moles cvm means molar heat capacity at constant volume and it is a change in temperature so just put value of dh n cvm dt so delta s is equal to integration of dq reversible by t this is our second equation from this so delta s is equal to integration of n cvm dt and the integration is taken with respect to temperature so our value will come n cvm into ln of tf upon ti tf is the final temperature and ti is the initial temperature now the second entropy is for or entropy change when the system is heated or this heading is also written as entropy change in the universe so we know that change in heat is equal to change in enthalpy and when system is heated we can write q is equal to minus delta h and our definition become delta s is equal to minus delta h upon t q by t you can write minus delta h by t and the boltzmann equation is s is equal to kl and w so k is the boltzmann constant w is the number of ways by we can rearrange the configuration and s is the entropy and if delta h is less than 0 the process is exothermic or the reaction is exothermic and which generates a larger amount of energy so when system is heated Q dash is equal to minus delta H. Delta S is equal to minus delta H upon T. Entropy can be calculated by using equation S is equal to K L N W. And for the exothermic reactions, 
larger the amount of energy is created and delta H is less than 0. Now, the entropy change in the surroundings. Here, conclusion is irreversible processes always increases entropy and these processes are in equilibrium with its surrounding at each stage. Each infinitesimal change along a reversible path occurs without increasing the entropy and energy and the thermodynamic definition of entropy which we have seen is ds is equal to dq by t and delta s is equal to q dash upon t dash here t dash is the temperature of the surroundings and ds is directly proportional to dq if dq is equal to 0 that is change in heat is equal to 0 obviously entropy will become 0 and this is for the adiabatic process so we can find out the entropy change in the surroundings and from this we can find out the total entropy change which is equal to change in entropy of the system plus change in entropy of the surroundings so this is all about entropy and now we will see one problem based on this so problem is calculate the entropy change in the surrounding when one mole of water is formed from its elements under standard conditions at 298.15 kelvin so reaction is given half o2 in a gaseous state plus h2 gaseous state which gives water in the liquid state so for this reaction we have to calculate the entropy change in the surroundings so the change in enthalpy when one mole of water is formed so before finding entropy change we have to find out change in enthalpy and change in enthalpy is equal to delta h is equal to n into delta h of so n is equal to number of moles which is equal to 1 1 into delta h of so formation entropy is here for water is equal to minus 286 kilo joule so this value is given delta h is equal to minus 286 kilo joule now we have to find out delta s so delta s is equal to minus delta h upon t for the irreversible processes so just put value minus 286 into 10 raised to 3 joules so just i have converted kilo joule into joules divided by temperature is 298.15 kelvin so i have just written here 298 so delta s value came minus 959 joules per kelvin so this is the entropy change in the surroundings when one mole of water is formed from its elements half o2 and h2 and when the temperature is 298 kelvin and the enthalpy change is minus 286 kilojoules.